Okay, hi everyone. We thought we would do a video today. This is the first one where we've both been on face to face to the camera. Mm -hmm. Full frontal, if Full you like. Full frontal, yeah. It's what you've all been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> this face. <laughs> Jamie's also just like recently shaved his head. So he's a bit uh, thug life. I haven't done it deliberately for this video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we've been to a few charity shops over the past couple of days and we thought we'd show some of our pickups. Um, because we've been like over Q4 really been heavily concentrating on RA and that's all we've been doing. So we stopped really doing eBay from about mid-December, uh, mid-November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're sort of finding that you haven't got much of a backlog. A lot of things have dried up, yeah. Yeah, I know... <sighs> One of the jobs we do need to do actually is look through all our stock that's listed at the moment and check down in the cellar and the garage because I know there's probably bits and bobs that have sort of got lost and they haven't been haven't been listed. So there is that we can go through. But in terms of we've got like um, a set of about three shelves in the porch that we have um, all our unlisted stock on. But that's mm. like we kind of gone through that, haven't we? Yeah. I've... Well, I have had done my side of it. Yeah. But the clothing side, there's, there's still because a bit I've of that. Because I've got like... But... Um, a lot of clothing and because of Etsy mm -hmm. um, there's always something for me to do but you're just sort of haven't got that backlog at the moment no then. no no I need to I need the car boots to kick back in again really but mm. um, yeah I've been out doing, been doing quite a few charity shop hauls recently and a few bits off Facebook so yeah yeah so we thought we would just now. show what we've picked up do you want to go first then uh, yeah um, well, who can we start with um, some we don't normally pick up. I'll only show you one. Um, ski boots, and they're Solomon ones as well. Let's put it up to the camera. I know they're a de I don't know anything about. It. I've only been skiing once, but um, I know Solomon is a decent make. They're pretty scuffed up, but I thought I'd give them a go. They're only eight pound. Um, got them listed at the moment for twenty eight plus postage, um, and I think we got four watches on yeah, it already. Yeah, you got quite a few watches on them. Um, I probably could get a little bit more, but the condition isn't great. So, um, but yeah, I'll definitely be looking out for them again. We actually saw one, some in the charity shop the other day again, Solomon ones, but they were up for 20, but mm. I'll definitely look out for them if they're a cheap enough price. Yeah. I think because they're so big and bulky as well, you just want to um, get rid quite quickly, yeah. don't you, rather yeah, yeah, than yeah, hang it. out for the highest price. Yeah. Not sure about this. It was just, it's a Lego torch. Um, paid one pound for it. Did you research this? Yeah, I, I remember looking over Christmas, I think um, I think um, Argos, sorry, had them brand new for about a tenner. Oh, so right. I don't think there's much money in it, but... Um, yeah, I just picked it up anyway. Yeah, with it being Lego. Um, this I was, I was shocked at. I don't know whether I can be able to do it. Hold on, let me do it from back here now. So, Ra Ra the Lion. I just push him down now. I think he's got batteries in. Yeah. He's a CBB's character. Oh, is he? Yeah. There you go. Well, um, he goes for silly money. Um, some people have been getting 25 plus postage. Um, I've gone for 20 and ours just because I won't, I don't know whether you can tell them. He's got a few little scuff marks on the back there. And there's a nick on his head somewhere as well. But I've gone for 20. It seems to sell fairly well at that price. Um, we did have a similar one of these, didn't we, a few a months plush, ago? A plush one, yeah. Not a, it didn't do anything. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I paid £2 for that, so hopefully 20 plus postage. Um, I'll do I'll do the dolls next. Um, Baby Annabelle dolls. Oh, this one's quite heavy. Uh, yeah, Baby Annabelle by um, Zaps Creation. They do Baby Born as well. Uh, so, <clears throat> in summer, I picked up from the car boot a load of doll clothes of these, and I did really well selling the doll clothes off individually. Um, I think I paid... I paid three pound for that one, and yeah, so they were both uh, together. They were six pounds. Now, the outfits on their own, I had no problem selling for six pound plus postage. So I think I'm going to take the outfit off this one and sell it on its own, and then bundle the two dolls together, uh, and I'll probably bundle them for about fifteen. I think this one takes a bottle, um, but it hasn't got a bottle with it. They need a bit of clean, they need a bit of a TLC, but yeah, I think I'm going to go for about fifteen plus postage on them, uh, and see how we get on with them. 
But you did quite well. The hangers, didn't you, as well, for the clothes? Yeah, the even the Zapf well. creation, Baby Annabelle, um, ha- just the coat hangers for their actual doll clothes, um, just do really well, I think, because you can't purchase them in store and they come as with packs and mm. stuff. They mm. part out pretty, yeah. pretty nicely. Um, I don't normally like picking up mugs, just because it's quite hard to package and, and all that jazz, but this was um, a Beatles yellow submarine one. Um, it was three pound, but it was boxed. There's no, there was none on eBay um, a couple of weeks ago. So I picked this one up a while ago. Um, but some guy had it on an auction at twenty five. Did it um, sell? It didn't sell in the end, no. But um, I put it on for twenty four ninety nine plus postage. His was new, um, and got one watch on it already. Um, but it's from ninety nine. Um, I just want to give that a go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, three pound. Hopefully, twenty twenty five into yeah three into twenty five. Hopefully. Uh, and then I found this uh, Sylvanian family's uh, little flower shop set. It's got all the accessories in there. With it, it was one pound. It was a nice find. Um, it comes with all of like the flower shops. We just uh, we actually just got a load of um, new I think like American subscribers. Uh, thanks to Texas Gil, Gil Treasures, Gal Treasures, um, and so over in America, I think these are called like known as like Calco Critters. I think that's how you pronounce it. So it comes with all their accessories. There's no figures with it. Uh, for that one, I will be getting about twelve to fifteen pound plus postage as well. Crazy, silly. Um, uh, Harry Potter the miniature clock. Layers a bit. Um, I know nothing about the Harry Potter films. Maybe you know. I haven't even asked you actually. But there seems to be different ones on eBay. I can't find this particular one. I don't know whether it's from a, a particular scene in the film. It says Harry with his wand and, and a cauldron down there. Um, yeah, I don't know. But um, some have gone for crazy money. Some could have gone for about forty plus postage, but different a different sort of scene on it. Um, so I've put that up for 30 um, plus postage. Um, I think you've got a watcher on that. I've got a watcher on that as well. So, and that was, I think that was 6 5 or 6 mm. So I think the rest of mine is just clothing now. Uh, I got this. Uh, it was a one pound. Um, everything in the shop was a pound. So um, a Laura Ashley um, above the knee skirt. It's a UK size 16, so yeah, that was a pound, and I will be going for about £14 plus postage on that one. Um, another nice, quick, easy one, this will be for Amazon FBA. Um, picked this up before Christmas, and it's sold a few weeks before Christmas. It sold I think really it. fast, didn't it? Um, for, I think it sold for about f- it was 15. 15, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, but it was a diff- slightly different version to this. Um, although I think this one is actually the better version. It's Command and Conquer, Red Alert 2, um, both dis- discs in great condition, um, and that was pound fifty. And then again, a pound. Um, it's a small size, but it is Monsoon, and I'm guessing it's pretty old because I've never seen that Monsoon label before. Um, yeah, just a skirt, and I will probably get that one on for about... Uh, I'm probably going to go for about eight to nine pound with it being a smaller size. Um, yeah, eight to nine plus the postage. So, um, I seem to see Zumba packs everywhere, but this particular one I've not actually seen. Um, Zumba Gold, live it up. Yeah, I don't know what you can see on that. Um, you think this is for older people? Well, I'm only going by the picture on there. I'm only going by the picture on there. Um, I'll probably get into a lot of stick for that now, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's got the complete. It's in really nice condition actually. Um, there seem to be ones in Australia that seem to sell, so I don't know whether it's come from there originally. Um, but that's on at um, twenty six ninety nine plus postage. Uh, paid a fiver for it, uh, and yeah, so that'll be a nice return if it sells. I paid three pounds. It's just a black and it's a like cord type material. Uh, yeah, so I paid three pound for it. It's monsoon and it's size 18 so that's good um with a bit of a pattern at the bottom 
uh, I will put that on for about £15, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for about £15 on that one. Um, a nice easy one for uh, Amazon FBA. Um, Teenage Mutant Turtles. Sorry. Uh, board game, brand new and sealed. Um, it was only £2. It doesn't go for much, but with the new long-term storage fees at the moment with Amazon, I think we'll hold on to this and just send it in September, October time and hopefully aim for £20 plus with it. So I think it's from originally 2003, so it's a fairly oldish one, but it's brand new and sealed. And did you say the rank was like 100,000? It, it's 100 odd thousand, which isn't, it's okay, okay. but um, I'll probably stick on to it, I think, hold on to it and then um, try and get a better price in quarter four. Uh, another pound skirt, skirt, nice, pretty, floral, colourful, uh, size 12, Marks and Spencers, yeah, paid a pound, um, we'll probably go for about £12 plus postage on that one, well this is quite cool. Yeah, um, paid up for it, paid, paid £10 for it, um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but what made me sort of go to it was this sideshow collections down at the bottom. Now I've seen these on, on um, Lord of the Rings figures in the past before, so I know that they they do quite well. Um, it is brand new, all the accessories and stuff are still sealed inside. Sorry the glare's a bit bad on there, I don't know if you can see. Bring it back a bit. Oh there you go, you can see on there, yeah. Um, yeah sorry, so it was £10, uh, I've got it up for 35 I've, I priced it a little bit higher than others just because I think you can get a little bit more um, and the pictures that other people have used aren't great. So hopefully with that, 35 plus postage and we've got a watch on that as well already. Mm. Uh, this was £2 and it's a lady, that's really long, a lady's long dress and it is by a brand called uh, Kit who I believe, oh it's new. I thought it was used. <laughs> nice. um, it, who I believe is part of Jigsaw Company. And the size is... I don't know if I can find it now. Oh, I, I can't find what the size is, but I think it's about a... Um, it looks to me to be about a 10 or 12. It's definitely not bigger, so I'll find the size. Don't ask me. It's all under there. Yeah. Um, picked up a North Face coat. Um, how much was this ago? Oh, nine ninety nine. Yeah, North Face coat. I couldn't tell when I first saw it in the shop. It actually looks a little bit better in this light. I didn't know whether it's sort of faded or whether it's just a, like an old, an old type one. I'm not too sure, but it's a size medium and it's a men's. Um, yeah, I paid a tenner for it, hoping to get about twenty five plus postage. Um, North Face stuff seems to sell really, really well, even used. Um, so yeah, quite hopeful on that one. Um, I paid... It says I paid £3, but I don't think I did. I think I paid a pound. Uh, I think this was on the pound rail. Um, and it's... I do see this brand, but it's not one that I really pick up. East, um, size 12. Uh, and it's kind of, you know, the gypsy type. Um, and I will probably stick that on for about £10 plus postage, I think, on that one. Probably the favourite pickup <laughs> past couple of weeks. <laughs> Supermarket Sweep uh, board game. Dale went in there. Could be very cheesy. Um, the box isn't in great condition. What did we pay? Two pound, I think it was for it. I think, I think it was, it was two pound. Three actually. Or three pound. The box, it's not in great condition. There's sort of sticker marks on the back as well. Um, still with the barcode and that. Um, but I checked it through. It is complete, um, and that's listed on eBay at the moment for. Well, I put it up for twenty-one plus postage, but you thought no, put it up a little bit more. I'm sorry, you put it up to twenty-five, did you? I think it yeah, was I do sometimes sneak back into listings yeah. and just. I never do it to hers, but she does it to mine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, another one off the pound rail. Again, not a brand that I've heard of. Um, Heather Valley. 
I, I don't know, never heard of it. Uh, but it is a size, I think it's another size 12, an elasticated waist a little bit. Uh, and I will stick that on again for £10 plus postage. I've only got a couple more bits now. Um, picked up this box of old Duplo, sort of old vintage. It's, um, it is pretty worn, but I don't know what you can tell from there. Um, but yeah, there's like um, there's like three of the cars in there, um, and Caterpillar as well, which is quite cool. And got a few other little. There's no figures. They've got these types of things as well, little ladybug type things. So yeah, um, it was three ninety nine for the box, and hopefully get about twenty plus postage. I don't know. There's about forty. I think there is different bricks and blocks and accessories. So I think twenty plus postage is pretty realistic for that. Yeah. Go more. No, no. I think that's quite high for that. I don't oh, yeah. know. But just because it's old, well, you know, it's old vintage stuff, vintage. isn't it? I don't know. I hate using that word all the time, but yeah. Um, a men's Bowden shirt I paid. Again, this whole shot was everything a pound, so paid a pound for that. And um, I would imagine to get back about um, £18, 100% cotton. I think I'm going to have to measure it because I can't. Oh, unless L is the L for large, I don't know. But I'm going to have to measure it. What do you think that is? That's a large, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's massive. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. It's um, quite a big L though, isn't it? I don't... Do you know, I might go a bit higher on that. I might go just over 20, I'm not sure. So yeah, that was a nice pick up. Um, I begrudgingly hate picking up anything that's not Tottenham related, but yeah. <laughs> I picked up some Man United curtains. Um, they were 275. Do okay with the bed sheets, the beddings, the sort of Liverpool and Man United ones. Um, curtains, I was having a bit of a slow day this day, so I think that's the reason why I picked them up. I'm hoping for about 15 quid, probably be free postage on that as well. Um, but they look in really good condition, they've been, you can tell they've been uh, cleaned beforehand, so yeah, about 15 on that one. And then I picked up, this is quite strange. That, this is that East brand again. Again, this was off that one pound rail, uh, and it's that sort of um, like navy blue nautical theme theme type thing. That's a size fourteen, and then almost identical. I actually thought they were the same, you know, the exact same skirt. But this is the, um, Maine, who are part of the um, it, part in Debenhams, and that's a size fourteen as well, almost identical. Um, yeah, so I picked them up. I think both that was from the one pound shop and that was off the one pound rail. Uh, this one will probably go on for about eight ninety nine, and then this one I'll probably because it's part of the Debenhams one. I will probably put on for about um, twelve, a little, a few pounds more, twelve, twelve maybe something like that. Very strange how similar they are. Um, the last one for me, but probably our best pickup. Um, for a bit actually, um, we haven't actually got it to hand because. Well, you think? <laughs> well, there's a bit of a story. I'll, yeah, I'll tell you what it is anyway. First, it's just a Panasonic. Um, this is the instruction manual. Um, not the instruction manual on its own. Uh, it's a Panasonic DVD VHS recorder. Um, yeah, it go, it goes for really really good money. Even used goes for over two hundred pound plus postage. We paid a tenner for it. Um, I tested it the other day. Um, the VHS player seems to work fine, um, but the DVD side, it doesn't seem to record discs um, and it doesn't seem to sort of even play them. So it's a way at a friend's dad who owns um, a television shop and they do repairs as well. So it's over there, hopefully going to get sorted um, and he's going to get back to me next week with it. But even still, if it doesn't, if it doesn't, if it's not working, um, I think about 70 quid plus postage, even for spares and repairs. So. That was probably our best pickup. Yeah, and then if it works, but yeah, so it's still okay if it doesn't. But. What was the thing? If he gets it working, you have to pay. It's twenty. It's a twenty pound deposit, but I think I'm I'll. Because you're shaking the camera. Sorry, I think I'll be able to get that sorted off my mate. I think I'll be able to get that money back. But he paid. I paid a twenty pound deposit. Um, he's just going to open it up, kind of like an inspection fee. Going to check it all out. 
Um, it's something to do with the laser on the on the DVD side, uh, actually playing the discs. Uh, so I pay twenty for that, and then um, if it costs any more, they'll take that off the off the final bill. But it's worth paying for, you know. Even yeah, if you have to fork out seventy for the whole lot, seventy into two hundred is um, great. Isn't yeah, it? well, obviously I don't want to be paying forking out, you know, too much if you can't get it. Definitely can't get it fixed, and it just goes as spares. But um, yeah, but yeah, it was a nice pickup. Yeah, really so nice pickup. Really nice pickup. Um, just a few, just two more clothing bits from me. Uh, again, in the whole pound shop, um, Bowden, nice skirt, knee length or just below the knee length. Size 16, paid a pound for that, uh, and that will probably go for about uh, for about 15 pounds. Yeah, about 15 pounds. Okay, it is actually wool, 96% wool, so um, I'm going to go for 18 pound plus postage, I think. And then again from the whole pound shop, uh, I think this is quite old, fat face. Um, because the label is a bit different. It's a size 16, just like a fleecy jacket. Um, I'm not sure on this, not sure what I'll get back because it is older, I think older fat fees, it's not too um, current. <laughs> um, maybe 12, 13 pounds for that one back. So I think that's everything, mm. yeah? Um, so I've done, I'm going to do another video of a large ladies like clothing haul uh, that will come in the next few days. So um, thanks for watching everyone and thanks to all the new subscribers as well. Um, and yeah, so um, thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Didn't we a few months a plush, ago? A plush one, yeah, not a, didn't do anything. Yeah, but, um, but yeah, paid £2 for that, so hopefully 20 plus postage. Um, I'll do I'll do the dolls next. Um, baby Annabelle dolls. Oh, this one looks quite heavy. Uh, yeah, Baby Annabelle by um, Zaps Creation. They do Baby Born as well. Uh, so <clears throat> in summer, I picked up from the car boot a load of doll clothes of these, and I did really well selling the doll clothes off individually. Um, I think I paid I paid three pound for that one. And yeah, so they were both, uh, together they were six pounds. Now, the outfits on their own, I had no problem selling for six pound plus postage. So I think I'm gonna take the outfit off this one and sell that on its own and then bundle the two dolls together. Uh, and I'll probably bundle them for about 15. I think this one takes a bottle, um, but it hasn't got a bottle with it. They need a bit of clean, they need a bit of a TLC, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go for about 15 plus postage on them uh, and see how we get on with them. You did quite well with the hangers, didn't you, as well, for the clothes? Yeah, time, even the well. Zapf Creation Baby Annabelle, um, ha just the coat hangers for their actual doll clothes, um, just do really well, I think, because you can't purchase them in store and they come as with packs and mm. stuff. They mm. part out pretty yeah. pretty nicely. Um, I don't normally like picking up mugs, just because it's quite hard to package and, and all that jazz, but this was um, a Beatles Yellow Submarine one. Um, it was three pound, but it was boxed. There's no, there was none on eBay um, a couple of weeks ago. So I picked this one up a while ago. Um, You've got a watcher on that. I've got a watcher on that as well. So, and that was, I think that was six ninety nine, five or six ninety nine. Mm. So I think the rest of mine is just clothing now. Uh, I got this. Uh, it was a one pound. Um, everything in the shop was a pound, so um, a Laura Ashley um, above the knee skirt. It's a UK size 16, so yeah, that was a pound. And I will be going for about 14 pounds plus postage on that one. Um, another nice, quick, easy one. This will be for Amazon FBA. Um, picked this up before. For Christmas and it's sold a few weeks before Christmas. It sold I think really it was. fast, didn't it? Um, for I think it sold for about f it was 15. fifteen. I think it was, yeah. uh, but it was a diff slightly different version to this. Um, although I think this one is actually the better version. It's Command and Conquer Red Alert Two, uh, both dis discs in great condition, um, and that was one pound fifty. And then again a pound. Um, it's a small size, but it is monsoon, and I'm guessing it's pretty old because I've never seen that monsoon label before. 
um, yeah, just a skirt, and I will probably get that one on for about, uh, I'm probably going to go for about eight to nine pound with it being a smaller size. Um, yeah, eight to nine plus the postage, so. Um, I seem to see Zumba packs everywhere, but this particular one I've not actually seen. Um, Zumba Gold, live it up. Yeah, I don't know what you can see on that. Um, you think this is for older people? Well, I'm only going by the picture on there. I'm only going by the picture on there. Um, I'll probably get into a lot of stick for that now. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's got the, some guy had it on an auction at 25. Did it um, sell? It didn't sell in the end, no. But um, I put it on for 24.99 plus postage. His was new, um, and we've got one watch on it already. Um, but it's from 99. Um, I just want to give that a go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, three pound. Hopefully 20, 25 into yeah, three into 25. Hopefully. Uh, and then I found this uh, Sylvanian family's uh, little flower shop set. It's got all the accessories in there. With it, it was one pound. It was a nice find. Um, it comes with all of like the flower shops. We just uh, we actually just got a load of um, new, I think, like American subscribers, uh, thanks to Texas Gil, Gil Treasures, Gal Treasures. Um, and so over in America, I think these are called like known as like Calco Chrises. I think that's how you pronounce it. So it comes with all their accessories. There's no figures with it. Uh, for that one, I will be getting about 12 to 15 pound plus postage as well. Crazy. Silly. Um, uh, Harry Potter uh, miniature clock. Oh, the glare's a bit. Um, I know nothing about the Harry Potter films. Maybe you know, I haven't even asked you actually. But there seem to be different ones on eBay. I can't find this particular one. I don't know whether it's from a, a particular scene in the film. It says Harry with his wand and, and a cauldron down there. Um, yeah, I don't know, but um, some have gone for crazy money. Some could have gone for about 40 plus postage, but different a different sort of scene on it. Um, so I put that up for 30. Um, plus postage. Um, I think you. Okay, hi everyone. We thought we would do a video today. This is the first one where we've both been on face to face to the camera. Mm -hmm. Full frontal, if Full you like. Full frontal, yeah. It's what you've all been waiting for. <laughs> this face. <laughs> Jamie's also just like recently shaved his head, so he's a bit yeah. thug life. I haven't done it me. deliberately for this video. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we've been to a few charity shops over the past couple of days and we thought we'd show some of our pickups. Um, because we've been like over Q4 really been heavily concentrating on RA and that's all we've been doing. So we stopped really doing eBay from about mid-December, uh, mid-November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're sort of finding that you haven't got much of a backlog. A lot of things have dried up, yeah. Yeah, I know... <sighs> One of the jobs we do need to do actually is look through all our stock that's listed at the moment and check down in the cellar and the garage because I know there's probably bits and bobs that have sort of got lost and they haven't been haven't been listed. So there is that we can go through. But in terms of we've got like um, a set of about three shelves in the porch that we have um, all our unlisted stock on. But that's mm. like we kind of gone through that, haven't we? Yeah. I well, I have had done my side of it. Yeah. But the clothing side, there's, there's still because a bit I've of that. Because I've got like... But, um, a lot of clothing and because of Etsy mm -hmm. um, there's always something for me to do but you're just sort of haven't got that backlog at the moment no 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 I need to I need the car boots to kick back in again really but mm. um, yeah I've been out doing, been doing quite a few charity shop hauls recently and a few bits off Facebook so yeah yeah so we thought we'll we would just now. show what we've picked up do you want to go first then uh, yeah um, well, who can we start with? Um, some we don't normally pick up. I'll only show you one. Um, ski boots. And they're Solomon ones as well. Let's put it up to the camera. I know they're a de I don't know anything about it. I've only been skiing once. But um, I know Solomon is a decent make. They're pretty scuffed up, but I thought I'd give them a go. They're only £8. Pound. Um, got them listed at the moment for... 28 plus postage um, and I think we've got four watches on yeah, it already. Yeah, we've got quite a few watches on them. Um, I probably could get a little bit more but the condition isn't great. So, um, but yeah, I'll definitely be looking out for them again. We actually saw one some in the charity shop the other day again. 
Solomon ones, but they were up for 20, but mm. I'll definitely look out for them if they're a cheap enough price. Yeah. I think because they're so big and bulky as well, you just want to um, get rid quite quickly, yeah. don't you, rather yeah, yeah, than hang out for the highest price. Yeah. Not sure about this. It was just, it's a Lego torch. Um, paid one pound for it. Did you research this? Yeah, I, I remember looking over Christmas. I think um, I think um, Argos, sorry, had them brand new for about a tenner. Uh, so right. I don't think there's much money in it, but... Um, yeah, I just picked it up anyway. Yeah, with it being Lego. Um, this I was, I was shocked at. I don't know whether I can be able to do it. Hold on, let me do it from back here now. So, Ra Ra the Lion. Just push him down now. I think he's got batteries in. Yeah. He's but, a CBB's character. Oh, is he? Yeah. There you go. Well, um, he goes for silly money. Um, some people have been getting 25 plus postage. Um, I've gone for 20 and ours just because I won't. I don't know whether you can tell them. Is they have got a few little scuff marks on the back there, and there's a nick on his head somewhere as well. But I've gone for 20. It seems to sell fairly well at that price. Um, we did have a similar one of these.